Good evening. I want to welcome you all to IEP today. Sitting in this auditorium three short years ago, I had no idea that I was on the cusp of the life-changing experience that IUP would soon become. All I knew as an incoming freshman was that I was here to obtaining a nursing degree, and I wouldn't give up until I did. What I would learn, however, is that attending IUP is about much more than obtaining a degree. For me, IUP was a new beginning. I decided to carry out the advice of my freshman convocation speaker and predecessor, Andrew Longacre. I started at IUP with a clean slate and an open mind. I embraced the experiences that I was presenting with at IUP and let them carry me to something great. Three years ago, I never would have thought that I would be standing up here today. That's the beautiful thing about this university, though. Today, you have no idea who you will be when you part ways with IUP. But if you take advantage of the opportunities in front of you, you will leave this place a better person. That being said, I have some advice to help you become all that you can be when you walk across that stage at graduation. Keep your eyes peeled for opportunity. Webster's Dictionary defines opportunity as a good chance for advancement or progress. This campus is full of possibilities for every single one of you, so be on the lookout. If opportunity is knocking at your door, answer it. If it isn't knocking, go find it. All of you in this auditorium today have already seized a major opportunity. You are pursuing a college education. Now follow through and make the most of the next four years. Now that you are looking for opportunities, I want to encourage you to keep an open mind and not limit yourself to your comfort zone. As a sophomore, I did something that I thought I would never do. I pledged a fraternity. I jumped into something new and never looked back. Today I'm a proud member of Phi Delta Theta fraternity, and because of that, I have become a greater version of myself. I am thankful that I kept an open mind. In the spring semester of that same year, after swearing that I was done getting involved and had too much on my plate, I joined an organization that would change my life more than any other. The IUP ambassadors have become my second family, and through my involvement, I have received a variety of valuable experiences. I cannot imagine who I would be today if I hadn't stepped out of my comfort zone. So when that opportunity to do something a little different or time consuming comes up, take it. My next bit of advice has to deal with finding mentors. Last spring, I sat down on a Tuesday night and wrote 12 thank you cards. 12 thank you cards to graduating seniors who had mentored me in some way over the years. Thinking of these 12 individuals was a no-brainer, and thanking them seemed natural. I knew that I had only accomplished as much as I had because of them. As students at IUP, you have the chance to stand on the shoulders of other students and our alumni. Embrace their helping hand and allow them to introduce you to a new way of thinking. Allow them to lift you up and encourage you to raise the bar. Take advantage of the opportunities that they present to you. I can assure you there will be many. I encourage you all to find an upperclassman, alum, or faculty member who can guide you in your time here. They will connect you with organizations, help you with your classes, write recommendations, and review your speeches. If you are lucky, one day you will be able to pay it forward by having a mentee of your own. Lastly, and certainly not least, it's never too early to start talking about philanthropy. Philanthropy, in essence, is doing goodwill to members of the human race. And you will soon come to find that IUP is, in fact, its own race. The instantaneous connection that you will come to feel with fellow students and alumni is overwhelming. And philanthropy doesn't mean a monetary gift. Here's how you can be a philanthropist without breaking the bank. First, 
Realize today that you are IUP. The actions that you take define this institution because without you, IUP is simply bricks and mortar. I encourage you all to be an activist for IUP. Be proud to call this university home. Represent it well. Because just as you are a part of this university, this university is a part of you. Second, pay it forward. Remember the 12 thank you letters that I wrote? Well, recently I got to meet some of the mentors of my mentors. I'd heard so much about these individuals because much like me, my mentors were so grateful for the guidance that they had received. Last semester, I had my chance to pay it forward. I spent time tutoring and guiding a student who was trying to transfer from education into IUP's nursing program. I spent hours tutoring her in chemistry and connecting her with the right people. One day she ran up to me and said that she was officially an IUP nursing student. I will graduate in nine months and I'm happy to say that I've paid it forward. I will never forget the feeling of helping someone take that first step towards achieving their dreams. Lastly, invest in the IUP of tomorrow. When Dr. Driscoll came to our university, he made a point of including everyone in the vision of IUP. He held a strategic visioning summit where students, faculty, staff, and administrators were invited to participate in developing a vision for IUP's future. I was a strong advocate of student participation, and one particular response to this initiative stuck with me. A student said to me, why should I go? Any changes that might take place won't be implemented until I'm gone. You are now a part of a university with nearly 150 years of history. When you get involved and advocate for a better IUP, you aren't just doing it for your generation. You're doing it to promote a better student experience for the IUP of tomorrow. A university doesn't prosper for 150 years with a what's in it for me attitude. I know that it is difficult to sit in your shoes today, but believe me when I say that IUP is full of life-changing experiences. It's something hard to explain to someone who hasn't yet experienced it. I'm happy, however, that I got to share with you some advice today to make sure that you make the most of your time here. When I talk with alumni, this is what we talk about. Each of us has our own version of what IUP has helped us to accomplish. We've each found lifelong friendships, memories, and careers at this university. So today, as you start writing your own IUP experience, I want you to really listen to my words of advice. Seize the opportunities that you come by. Don't be afraid to try new things and test your limits. Don't do it alone, however. Find yourself a mentor or 12. They will guide you in the right direction and encourage you to be all that you can be. And when your time at IUP is finally up, make sure that you give back to IUP and the next generation of students. Just as those who came before you, you can help build a strong legacy for you and your university. I wish you all the best of luck.